Week two of the District 22-5A football season actually began tonight with the PG Indians taking the field on this Thursday and the Tribe was looking to be the first in their 5A group to 2-0 on the year in district play. But to do that, the Indians would have to beat Goose Creek Memorial, the Patriots on the Pats home turf. Let's go out now to Stallworth Stadium at Baytown for this varsity football action on a Thursday. PG fell behind 7-zip after the opening drive, but then they took a 14-7 lead just as we would arrive. Don't worry though, they were just getting warmed up. On the goal line after a turnover, Adam, Adam Morse, the quarterback, does the Honors himself with an end zone dive. PNG with their third unanswered touchdown, and the tribe took a 21 step in the lead at that point. Turnovers were a big difference in the first half, and it was the Patriots turning it over and over. That's Trey Rembert with the recovery for the purple and white on the fumbled snap. That put the Indians in a great position once again, and this time Adam Morse rolls out of the pocket, throws a strike on the far side of the end zone to Cole Girard. PNG took a 20 point lead up 27 to 7. That's pretty nice, but this is even better. Wait, there's more. The fum another fumble led to another red zone opportunity, and the Indians capitalized. Morris finds Casey Sullivan in the end zone. This time for another touchdown score. PNG led 34 to 7 at the half, and as we check the final of this one, PNG takes it with ease. 47 to 20 was the final. Adam Morris four passing touchdowns. As we saw, he rushed for another one himself. The defense for PNG shined with fumble recovery after another, and the Indians' offense on fire. The Tribe have scored 103 points over two districts. Games. The most important number 2 0. PNG sits atop the 22 5A race as of right now.